Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my room. So Chris Rock finally responded to Will Smith and the infamous slap in his latest special, Selective Outrage, which is a fitting title. I watched the whole thing and he talks about double standards and the political outrage and cancel culture and how people still listen to Michael Jackson but won't listen to R. Kelly even though they were accused of the same act. Selective Outrage. He started by coming out and saying that he was going to try really hard not to offend anybody, but then he goes on to do what could be one of the more offensive hour-long stand-up specials. And you can see the audience pull back a little bit. And even I was like, hey, you could could have probably worded that a little better. But nothing he was saying was untrue. Like, he talked about how women were the real ones who run the world because nothing is more valuable than female beauty by using an example of Beyonce and Jay-Z, saying that Beyonce is so beautiful that she could work at a Burger King and still marry a billionaire rapper like Jay-Z. But Jay-Z could not work at a Burger King and still land Beyonce by any stretch of the imagination. And he's right about that. The part that made me pull back was when he started talking about the four ways to get attention in today's world, and I think the third one that he listed was being excellent at something and excelling or something, right? This this just for the context. And he said that Serena Williams is amazing because she excels at tennis because she worked really hard and all that, which is true. Again, that's just for the context. But later on, he talks about the OJ trial and said that Rob Kardashian freed OJ. So OJ killed two white people and got away with it. And that's a different form of black excellence. And... <laughs> No. But I understand that it was a joke, so I'm not going to try to say that he was trying to fuel black hatred towards white people or nothing, <laughs> even though that's kind of what he was doing. So yeah, that was the only part that made me cringe a little bit. But the focal point of the evening was the finale, where he tore Will Smith a new a noose for almost 10 minutes straight, and I screen grabbed the whole thing. Now, because of the copyright stuff, I'm going to have to pause and interject my opinion and put a picture up instead of the actual video, because Netflix are a bunch of losers who actually want people to pay for their business. The audacity! The audacity! I just can't- So we're gonna break this down and enjoy every single part of it. Y'all know what happened to me? Getting smacked by Suge Smith? <laughs> Everybody knows! Everybody fucking knows! Yes! It happened! I got smacked like a year ago! Fucking last week, I got smacked at the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. And people like, did it hurt? It still hurts! <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ear. <laughs> Fucking drums, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. I couldn't believe it, and I love men in black. No. Hell yeah, see, this is what I respect about Chris Rock, right? He's the one that got smacked in the face. He actually is a victim by every definition of the word, but he still will not behave like a victim by, you know, the modern day standards, right? You know what I mean? He took that hit like a soldier, and then waited for the hype to die down, and then a year later, he finally responds in his own way, and makes sure that he banks off the whole thing, doing his job, you know what I mean? Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, played the victim immediately, and still played plays the victim to this day. It's never gonna happen. No, fuck that shit. I took that hit like Pacquiao, motherfucker. I took it like motherfucking Pacquiao, okay? Shit, man. Did it hurt? Yeah, motherfucker, it hurt. And people are like, well, you guys are fighting all the time. We're not fighting. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera, Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. We are not the same size, okay? We are not. It's got this guy, Will Smith does movies with his shirt off. You've never seen me do a movie with my shirt off. If I'm in a movie getting open heart surgery, I got on a sweater. Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. You think I auditioned for that part? He played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. Pookie, motherfucker. I played a piece of corn in Pootie Tat. Shit, even in animation, this motherfucker's bigger. I'm a zebra, he's a shark. What the fuck, man? But, but, Will Smith practices selective outrage. Facts, dude. Practices selective outrage. 
outraged because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglement. Oh, shit. Here we go. I did. I did not have any entanglement. And then for people that don't know and everybody knows, Wilson and his wife was fucking her son's friend. Okay? Now... I normally would not talk about this shit. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down. What the fuck? That we all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. Ah, damn. No, he right. You're right about that though. Why why she interview his ass afterwards? Like what the fuck? I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's weird as fuck. None of us are like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? <laughs> why the fuck would you do that shit? She hurt him way more than he hurt me. Okay? Okay? And by the way, he does that shit. Everybody in the world called him a bitch. I tried to call the motherfucker and give him my condolences. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody called that man a bitch. Fucking Charlemagne called him a bitch. And the Breakfast Club called him a bitch. And the View and the Talk and every rapper and, and fucking the Drink Champs called him a fucking bitch. Everybody called him a bitch. They called his wife a predator. Everybody called him a bitch. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. And who's he hit? Me. Facts. If Will Smith's masculinity even had a pulse after Jada shot it in the head, slapping Chris Rock put the nail in the coffin. That was the biggest bitch move I have ever seen. And yeah, people were calling him a bitch for playing into Jada's public humiliation fetish. Like, if my wife slept with my son's best friend, I would send her divorce papers by the top of the hour. That would just be it. And then I would find a woman who actually respects me. But my wife would never do that because my wife has a fucking soul. Like, Jada is clearly a demon woman and Will Smith is a bitch who's trying desperately to cling on to whatever masculinity Jada hasn't already lopped off of him. And his desperation to win back public favor has corrupted him to the core. A nigga he know he could beat. That is some bitch ass shit. Tell it. the fuck happened, okay? The fuck out of here, man. The fuck? What the fuck? I do nothing to this motherfucker, okay? His, whatever. Years ago, his wife said, I, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host, because her man didn't get nominated for emancipation. Now, this part I had no idea. Jada called up Chris Rock and told him to basically quit his job because her precious husband didn't get nominated for a movie? Who the fuck do you think you are? You deserve to get called G.I. Jane, motherfucker. Woke Caillou looking ass, looking like every bald ass oracle from a science fiction movie, looking like a damn Disney supervillain drawn by an epileptic. Why are you even famous, you talentless heathen? Even in the movies you were in, you were shit. I know you ain't got a soul, you ain't got talent, so you must have sold your soul to get your acting career. Hashtag logic, 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 logic. She fucking said he should quit, because Will didn't get nominated for concussion. What the fuck? What the fuck? So then I do some jokes about it. Who gives a fuck? That's how it is. She starts it, I finish it, okay? That's what the fuck happened. Nobody's picking on this bitch. <laughs> oh shit, let's go. He said, ain't nobody picking on this bitch. <laughs> he said that with a two, dude. He said, ain't nobody picking on this bitch. <laughs> let's go, tear into him. On this bitch? She started this shit. Nobody was picking on her. Nobody was picking on her. She said, a me, a fucking grown ass man should quit his job because her husband didn't get nominated for concussion. And then this nigga gives me a fucking concussion, okay? <laughs> what the fuck, man? God, you can hear it in his voice, dude. He is right to be pissed. I 
love Will Smith. My whole life, I love this nigga. I saw him open up for Run DMC at the Nassau Coliseum. These niggas made brand new funk. I love this nigga. He made some great movies. I have rooted for Will Smith my whole life. I root for this motherfucker, okay? And now, I, I watch Emancipation just to see him get whooped. <laughs> Oh my god! Let that sink in for a second. No, I'm not even gonna explain it to you. Just just let it sink in for a second. Got me rooting for Massa, okay? I hit him again, Massa! Hit him again! You missed a spot, Massa! You missed a spot! And a lot of people go, Chris, how come you didn't do nothing back? How come you didn't do nothing back that night? Cause I got parents, that's why. Cause I was raised, okay? I got parents. And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people. That was a weird way to phrase it at the end there, but he's right about not reacting. Like if he had gotten into a fight at the Oscars and then started fighting back against Will Smith, all anybody would be talking about would be that fight and then they would both be wrong and then both of their careers would probably suffer. By carrying on with the show, Chris Rock's popularity skyrocketed, and his attacker was the one who ended up with a ruined reputation. Well, as if Will Smith's reputation could suffer any more than it already has. The lesson with all of this is that it pays to practice restraint, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And you can go to SeekingAsylumTheGame.com to check out my merch collection, as well as play some of the video games that I've developed. You can go to my music channel, at Nefarious Music, to hear some twos that I make in between videos. And I'll see you in the next one. I've been riding around town, blowing loud with the window down. Oh shit. New phone, who this? I'm just steady winning. You can't even hurt my feelings, homie. Oh shit. New phone, who this? You can't ever slow me, half of y'all don't even know me, homie, yo shit. New phone, who this? Don't you dare try to call me, cause I'm introverted, homie, better text me that shit. New